A few years ago, during the month of Spooktober, I went to go meet up with some friends at a friend's house. We all met up at Kim's place because we all wanted to hop into the same car together and then go to a pumpkin patch. So we all get inside of Kim's van and then we start heading to the pumpkin patch. We were in the van playing some Halloween music, you know, some of that spooky, scary skeletons. And man, once we get to the pumpkin patch, I was all, Jesus Christ, look at all these goddamn pumpkins. I was all, there are so many pumpkins that I don't, I don't even know where to start. Dude, I was just so overwhelmed with all these goddamn pumpkins. And what was funny was that I was spending quite a bit of time picking out a pumpkin and I wasn't even going to carve it because, dude, I f***ing suck at carving. My boy John was there taking some pictures, making some fun memories for everybody. So not too far away, we see some kind of hay maze. It was looking pretty sick. So there was literally just stacks and racks of hay all over the place. And I don't know, you can maybe imagine some kind of labyrinth where, you know, all the hedges are super tall, but all, all of this stuff was just made out of hay, like hay bales. So it was super cool, super spooktobery, right? So I was going inside of this hay maze. I was all, dude, I've never been inside of one of these things before. It was super sick. And I didn't realize that you can get lost in there. I just kept walking. I just kept walking. And then eventually I get to what seemed to be a dead end. But this dead end had just a stack of hay that was kind of essentially a staircase made of hay. So... I hop onto the staircase and then I start squinting a little bit. I was all, wait a second. Is that the squad all the way over there? So I was all, dang, man, I got to find my way back. So I'm walking through, I'm walking through. I'm just walking and I was all, dude, it's actually kind of creepy in this hay maze. You just start thinking of all the bad things that could be happening to you. You know, it's just some mass murder can just pop out of nowhere from all the hay bales. And then he can, he can start stabbing me to death or something. Or, you know, I can have my head decapitated just like Sub-Zero does to his enemies in Mortal Kombat, right? I'm running for the hills. You guys think I'm gonna fight? Hell no. I'm out of here, I'm going. <laughs> Eventually I meet back up with the squad and we all get back into Kim's van and then we start heading back to her place. We get back and while everyone else was doing some pumpkin carving, I was just sitting there eating some delicious Halloween themed cookies. I mean, your boy was stuffing his face. I was gonna get just as fat as Kim was, but damn, those are, I love holiday cookies. Kim says, hey guys, do you wanna go watch some Beetlejuice? And I was all, all right, I've never seen Beetlejuice because I'm an uncultured swine. We all head over to Kim's room and then we start watching Beetlejuice. My boy John was sitting on the floor and then all of a sudden I hear Kim say, was that you, John? John was all, was that me what? What did I do? And Kim was all, I just saw my closet door moving. Kim's closet door, it was kind of hanging over the track that you'll usually see in closet doors. So I'm not sure if they just didn't install it properly, but it wasn't exactly on the track. So the door was just kind of hanging over the track. And so Kim said that she saw the closet door kind of swaying back and forward, kind of like this. And so John was all, yeah, I wasn't doing that. And I was all, ah, John, what a jokester. What a prankster. I noticed that Kim got really freaked out and it was super funny. Movie ends, we all go back home and your boy comes back and crashes in his bed because I was tired as hell that day. I don't really know why. About a week or two later, I went to go hang out with John, Emily, and Chris again. For some reason, we start talking about how John and I were at we're at Kim's house. And I was telling John that it was pretty funny that he was screwing around with the closet door and then he started to freak out Kim or whatever. He was all, dude, I didn't touch the door, I, I swear to you. And so I was all, I was like, yeah, all right. I know you touched the door. And John was all, dude, I didn't mess with the door. Has Kim told you about what Cassie was doing last week? So John tells me that Kim was told by Cassie that Cassie was playing with a Ouija board. Oh my God, you guys see my goosebumps? I don't know if you guys can tell, but your boy just had goosebumps just now. Oh my God, I'm freaking out over this right now. So then John starts telling me everything that Kim was telling him. And Kim was saying how since Cassie started to play with that Ouija board that she's been experiencing more shivers and things knocking on on her window when things aren't even there that's why kim started to get so freaked out because kim knew about cassie playing with the ouija board last week so kim and john both knew at that time i don't know when they were talking about this but they both knew that it that it probably had something to do with cassie playing with the ouija board and look man you guys got to understand something once john 
told me about what was going on with Cassie and the whole Ouija board thing, I couldn't help but just feel so paranoid that somebody was watching me or something. You know, like I just had this feeling as if I was being watched. Damn, dude, I have to say that was one of the one of the creepiest spooktobers that I have ever had. If you happen to be somebody that's ever played with a Ouija board, stay the fuck away from me.